Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another goal-making video. Today, we're going to be discussing old world enchanting, and specifically, we're going to be talking about a disenchanting shuffle that is new to my spreadsheet that has really helped me out over the past few days when I'm trying to restock enchanting and I'm running out of materials. So let's get into this. The first thing, I'm just going to discuss what the shuffle is, why it's important, and then we're going to get into the spreadsheet. So basically what this shuffle is, is that we are going to be creating three different types of bracers, which are going to give us three different types of materials. Now, these bracers have a chance to drop a dust as well as an essence due to them being old world. However, for the shuffle, the essences are just considered extra and we are mainly focusing on the dust. The three dust that we're going to be talking about is hypnotic dust, arcanite dust, and laylight shards. Now, Hypnotic is from Cataclysm. We have Arcane Dust from TBC, or Outland. And then we also have Laylight Shards, which is a part of Legion. The reason why we are targeting these three items is because they are one of the more expensive pieces that I need whenever I restock my old enchanting. And the issue with it is that there's not a lot available on the auction house. So I've had to figure out ways to ensure that I can get enough resources, but also make some profit profit with it, which is why this spreadsheet has come about, and we're going to be talking about it now. However, those are the three things we're going to be talking about. So first, with discussing Hypnotic Dust, the reason why you want this is, once again, they are used for all of the Cataclysm enchants, which are pretty big sellers, but also it is needed to create Ember Silk Bags, the Enchanted Lantern, which is a battle pet, um, a few other bags, as well as the rhinestone sunglasses, which is a very, very expensive transmog piece. So, despite all enchants, there's a few transmog, as well as bags, and a battle pet, which needs hypnotic dust, which leads its price to be pretty, pretty expensive. Moving on to arcane dust, it is used in outland tailoring, as well as enchanting. It is used for a few transmog pieces inside of tailoring. It is also used in some goggle transmog in engineering. And once again, it is used for most of the outland enchantments. So despite enchanting, it is also very common in transmog and specifically high value transmog, which is why arcane dust is also on the list. Lastly, we have Laylight Shards, which is used in Legion Enchanting. And once again, it is used for the three Enchanted Cauldron, Pen, and Torch Battle Pets from Legion itself. It is used in all of the enchantments, including the Marks, which go for a pretty high price on most realms. And lastly, it's used for the Boon Scavenger Enchantments, which can help give you extra items, including Bloods, if you have that correct enchantment. So not only it's used for just stat enchantments, it's also used for looting as well as a few battle pets. All right, so when you go to the WoW Vendor Shuffle spreadsheet, which is in the description, and if you are familiar with my other spreadsheets, this is the exact same one that most of them are on. So feel free to just go back to this original link and to update the newest one. Now you will want to find the bottom tab that says old world dis dis meaning disenchanting and currently it is the ninth tab over however if you don't see it you just want to keep scrolling until you find this certain tab it should look just like this now if you do not have this version already downloaded make sure you click file and you hit make a copy and you save it to your google drive if you do not have this option or it is giving you an error, be sure to make sure that you are actually logged in to your Google Drive account to ensure that you can actually install it. If you are not logged in to your Google account, then you will be unable to actually make a copy and it will error out. So once you are here, basically we have the three bracers that we are gonna be going over. We have the Death Silk Bracers, which are used to create hypnotic dust. We have the nether weave bracers, which are used to make arcane dust. And lastly, we have the silk weave bracers, which is used to create laylight shards. Now, over here will be your category of where you will have to input your different prices. So I have already done this before the video. However, you will just wanna go on your auction house, search up ember silk cloth, and type in the amount. Now the two threads, as well as the runic catgut, 
You can get them at basically any tailoring vendors. If you're an Exalted with that tailoring vendor, you will have a cheaper price, which the Exalted prices are inputted as of right now. However, you will want to make sure that you are buying it for the same price, and of course, just adjust it if it's a little bit more expensive. Now, everything else you will be able to find on your auction house, and you'll just want to type in the respected prices. After you do so, then everything will update, and I'll tell you exactly what this means. So, the crafting cost is basically self-explanatory. It is saying that to craft one Death Silk Bracer, currently with these established prices, a bracer will cost 24 gold and 8 silver. Same with the Nether Weave, it will cost a little under 8 gold, and with the Silk Weave, it will cost a little over 9 gold. Then we have our percent chances with dust as well as essence. So every bracer, we basically will get one and a half dust. For every nether weave bracer, we will get one and seven. We will get 1.79 dust. And for every silk weave bracer, we will get one laylight shard. Then, like I said, we get the essences, which are basically just side profits. And so we also have the respected chances right there. Lastly, in this material column, we have the total price of what we will receive in material value. So basically, it is taking the dust and multiplying it by the hypnotic price over here, doing it same with the essence, and this is the total value that you will be getting once you disenchant based on your current prices. Lastly, we subtract that material value, and we subtract it from the item cost to get the final profit, which is this column right here. So currently, with my prices, if we make one Death Silk Bracer, we'll be getting 86 gold profit. If we make one Nether Weave Bracer and disenchant it, we'll be making two gold profit. If we are making Silk Weave Bracers, we'll be making five gold profit each. And then lastly, in this column down below, it is basically showing you the total profit per 100, per 500, and per 1,000 crafts. This is not by hour, like normally my spreadsheets are, because with disenchanting, you have to craft as well as disenchant, and due to lag and some factors like that, you can't get an exact number because you're not just crafting. So because of that, we are just doing it by amount instead of actual time. But that is okay. Of course, you can record yourself and see how long it takes. However, we are using strictly the amount of bracers that you can craft. Now, as you can tell, Death Silk basically is outshining all the other ones. Per a thousand, you are making an 86k profit. While with another silk and the silk weave, we are making basically less than 5k and a little over 5k. So as you can see, the hypnotic dust, due to the price, hypnotic dust on my server right now is going for 70 gold, while arcane dust is going for five and laylight shards are going for 15. So that just is a huge difference. And because of that, that is creating that total profit margin. So if we actually go into WoW and look up hypnotic dust, as you can see currently, yes, it is priced for 70 gold. However, the region sale average is about 36 gold. So, to make sure we can reflect the correct price for a region average, we can adjust this to 36 gold. As we do that, as you can see, the profit drops down to about 35 gold instead of that 86 gold, and our total profit per 1,000 crafts goes down to 35k, which 35k is still a very, very high amount due to the price of hypnotic dust still and this is really good profit i would definitely still be doing the shuffle if it was for, for 35k i honestly would probably do it if it was for any between 25k and above and yes maybe i won't do mass disenchanting of the other two bracers however if i am crafting my mass enchants like i do whenever i'm restocking all of my old world enchants as you can see as i am doing right now if I ever needed Laylight Shards or Arcane Dust and there was not enough on my auction house, I know that I could pull up the shuffle and I can still be making extra profit and getting the dust and shards that I need. That is mainly what the shuffle is for. Yes, of course, you can do it for just the basic material value. You just have to remember that old world materials take a while to sell. Once again, you they are not as fast as Shadowlands, meaning probably if you do want to do the shuffle, you would probably do it maybe once every few weeks. Hopefully you sell out of the materials and then you could start doing it again.
This is not like the Shadowland Shuffles where you can be doing this basically every single day and making constant profit because these items are just not needed as much. The main idea of me creating this spreadsheet is basically to make sure that you can always get the dust that you need, which is pretty expensive and there's always not a ton of it on the auction house, at least for me on a lower pop realm. Of course, with a high pop realm, you might not be experiencing this issue. However, it's a pretty big issue on low pop. Whenever I'm restocking, I always kind of run out of one of these three items or they're just priced ridiculously high. So the spreadsheet really helps me make an additional profit as well as being able to get that end result of enchantments themselves. So yeah, guys, that is basically it. Um, just to remind you guys that the Silk Weave Bracers that is currently in the spreadsheet is the rank 3. Basically, at rank 3, you need 9 Silk and 1 Cat Gut. However, most people might have rank 2s, as I do right now. So, if you do only have rank 2 and not rank 3, you will want to click on this and change this number 9 right here to a 13, and it will calculate the price once again. So, right now, on default, it is going to be set to rank 3. However, if you do not have rank 3, make sure you adjust this to the cloth you need. If you only have rank 1, you can change this 9 to how ma however many cloth it takes for rank 1. However, if you do have rank 2, make sure you set it to 13. So, this is the bracers that you'll be creating for the Waylight Shards. Then, in under Outland, we have the Netherweave Bracers, which you need for Arcane Dust. And lastly, if we look up Cataclysm and we go under Bracers, we are creating these Death Silk Bracers in order to get Hypnotic Dust. But yeah, guys, that is basically it. All you want to do is make sure you buy the cloth and the vendor materials, input it into the spreadsheet, see how much profit you can make, and then just go ahead and disenchant from there. This is a little bit of a more simple video, however, I think it is very helpful. It's been helpful for me in the past, so I hope sharing this with you guys can also help you not only make some gold on the side, but also help you with restocking all of your enchants. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what I did wrong, tell me what you liked, and of course, I'm always here for some criticism if it's constructive and it can help in the long run. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch. I am live streaming four days a week from 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, be sure to join my Discord. We have about 800 members in there, and we just talk about gold making as well as what's going on in life. And we currently are talking about PTR and the current gold making happenings that is happening in that scene. So be sure to check that out. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day.